Hi everybody, this will be a fun project. Resin only, multicolor project, a uh, really, really a fun one. So I'm using straws and I'm filling them up. I've done it before on some other project. And I'm using four colors, red, magenta actually, green, blue, and yellow. And all of them's got a pearl inside and I'm by the way, those uh, syringe, I'm going to use them later. I'll show you how uh, I'm going to use them. It's a quite a funny thing, uh, but that will be further. Uh, I'm putting inside a little bit of black as the base, and I'm going to start a day later. I'm going to cut out the inside of the straws, and I have to take away um, the putty that I closed it, and with a knife, I found it a little bit dangerous for me because I, you know, I like to cut my fingers. So I find I had to find another solution. And here you see just now I'm going to get another system that's much, much, much safer for me. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to press this button, subscribe to my channel, thumbs up, thumbs down, you like it, you don't like it, and tell me what you think about my project. I did pour a little bit of resin in the in the vessel and now I'm putting inside uh, the straws and the reason why I put at the bottom a little bit of resin, uh, clear resin, is to hold the straws for the next pour so they're not going to float up and I'll have a problem how to hold them at the bottom. So I just put them a little bit of like a, a half an inch um, of resin and then I put now the, the in into the pressure pot overnight and next morning will continue. Now I've got two challenges here. One is that I need to, the front, the front of them, I need them to be more into the center. So I made three wedges and I want to take out all the bubbles. So I made, I made up a vacuum, um, a quick vacuum one. It's made out of um, Venturic system and I pulled out most of the air bubbles out. I think it pulled out all of them, but I'll check later. And that's, by the way, how I'm taking off the um, hot gun glue the easiest way. And um, now I'll see if it came out right or it's full with bubbles. And I think there is no bubbles. So that's basically the what I'm going to do. It's a Coca-Cola bottle. It's an eight, eight ounce Coca-Cola bottle, one of the old ones. And I will try and make a complete Coca-Cola bottle out of resin and this uh, with those colors inside. It will look like, I'm trying to make it look like a Moreno glass system uh, for whoever saw the Moreno's one. It's beautiful. I know it's not the same, but I'm trying to get there. Now it's it's 5.6 million centimeters the the width of it so I'm trying the, I'm just taking 5.6 mill, millimeters centimeters on the side when I said that I got it I know what where I have to go where is my target and now I'm going to square the whole thing at 5.6 and I will have a 5.6 size cylinder and from there I will start doing the um, how you call it the shape of the bottle of course i'm using for this project the black line tools and i'm, I'm interneting between the medium medium size uh, black line tools and to the mini size black line like this one is the mini one um, and it works for me very nice um, hope you like it
I'm marking the high points and the low points and I'm starting in the end in the back of it at the base to give it the basic shape and then I'll go and do the shape in the front and I'll go and I'll move to the neck but trying to keep, I'll, I'll keep, not trying, I'll keep um, a piece in the front uh, for support um, so it will not come out. So the, the neck will be a little bit longer, but actually that's not the neck, that's the piece that will be supporting the tailstock, uh, the revolving tailstock, so I can do the whole job when having a tailstock all the time up. Um, and only in the end I'll cut it down and I'll where it is the, um, the neck of the bottle and, um, and the cap. And that we see now is that will be the, the measurements of the cap of the bottle. Uh, and now we're getting to the thickness of the neck and then I'll start doing the shaping of the neck. You know those grooves that comes on the, on the end of the neck of, of the bottle? That's exactly, I'm trying to copy it 100%. So I will be, so it will look authentic. Now keep your eyes very carefully on this, this bottle. Now, what I did notice is it's quite, boom, quite thin. The support that I had on the tall stack and it broke off just broke off. Uh, hit my fingers, nothing major, nothing bad. Uh, I see that the marks of the necks are there, so it's okay. It took me a little bit of time, a little bit more than a little bit of time, to, to bring it back into center. Um, I had to really work. And you can see that it's places, are pieces broken, but lucky enough, they are on the side of the neck, so I will machine it out. Um, and it will still say, be the same. I just have to be very careful with the places where it broke off so I don't get a catch. Because if I get a catch, it will break into pieces altogether. And that's why, my friends, you need safety all the time. A good mask, uh, a face shield, otherwise it could be dangerous. The reason why I'm creating a wide area in the back over there is so I can start polishing the back as much as deep as possible. And I'm using the um, diamond shape um, tool, the ditling tool from the mini set. And it will give me enough space inside to reach with the sandpaper. And I'm using 150 all the way to 600. After that, I'm going to use water sandpaper. Um, all the way to micro, micro fine. And after I finish with the micro fine, I'm going to move, because it's only resin, I'm going to use Novas 3.2, uh, the Novas uh, heavy scratch remover, and then the Novas uh, fine remover. The, the heavy scratch is the white one, and the brown one is this one, is the fine uh, scratch remover. And as you finish, as I'll finish with it, you'll see how, what a huge difference it makes. Look at that now. It's like see-through, like glass, glass, glass. I'll do the same. I'll sandpaper all the way from 150 to 600. But this time I'm going to use Yorkshire grid because it has to be a little bit rough in the back of it. It's not smooth as in the front. If you ever look at the Coca-Cola bottle, it's not smooth as the front. And now I'm using my kombucha caps 
to put on this bottle uh, and I was afraid that I'm going to break the neck but it did not break the neck and it came out perfectly and now I've got a cap a red cap to the coca-cola bottle made a sticker from um, vinyl and that's how it looks like I hope you enjoyed it if you did uh, don't forget to subscribe a thumbs up or thumbs down put some comment let me know what you think of just resin and of just this fun project that I had thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on my next one next week